um, so some people already know that I got the Botox for the first time about 20 days ago and that was my first time in my life and it's it's great so I want to share you guys the house how's my experience and how is it right now so Botox uh, people already know that uh, in the Botox when you get the Botox uh, you cannot use your muscle you cannot, uh, you cannot move your muscle that much anymore uh, that is prevent wrinkle right and and not only that that's I didn't know that uh, a Botox also minimize pore that I didn't know that so I had a really large pore and like clogged pore around here before but now it's all gone so my forehead is like boiled egg now it's very smooth and shiny poreless that's I really really love it but so I didn't even think about that since you know you cannot move your muscle that much anymore right that means you cannot raise your eyebrow see like now I can move my eyebrow like this much right so I didn't know how hard it is applying mascara on the bottom see like like this look see I have to stretch entire my face like that uh, and then you realize that you raise your eyebrow at the same time when you apply mascara it is so hard look oh my That is a primer, so I have to apply actual mascara next. And then, and also, I noticed that, you know, when you talk or, you know, just normal days, you move your, you know, muscle, eyebrow muscle, face expression, right? But you cannot move that anymore. And I noticed that my, I feel like, you know, uh, my forehead or eyes are dropping a little bit you know like you, you feel like heavy on your eyes so I always feel like right now like my eyes are halfway open and my vision is very like small you know that's that I noticed that so I want to open my eyes because I want to see and I feel like you know my eyes are always like like this much right now so I found this product Japan it's Orisiki so uh, this makes your uh, make your eye uh, make temporary double eyelid so making double eyelid is very popular in Asian culture yeah, but this is not the glue. Uh, the formula, it looks like this liquid. And then you apply where you wanna make a double eyelid. So right now my eyes like this way. I have a like small double eyelid, but it's not that big. Yeah, but I wanna make a little bit bigger since I gonna open my eyes. So you apply a liquid uh, multiple times and make it dry. So this liquid, uh, when it gets dry, it becomes a film. Uh, and it comes with this small applicator 
that helps to make a double eyelid. So wherever you apply the liquid here, you barely can tell what I have. And you press. Do you see? My eyes got bigger. It's a little, I think I opened my eyes too early. It got a little sticky. But it's supposed to be uh, It's really hard to tell what I have Do you see the difference? So now I can see So I'm gonna try the other eyes Again Apply a multiple coat Where you wanna make a double eyelid See? Okay, I have to do my left eyes again. I think it was not enough. See, I think I made it too big on my on this eyes, but now I feel like I can see everything and I don't feel heavy on my eyes. So this is what I use. I'm not sure if you guys can get it from Japan or uh, from Amazon, but I got it uh, in Japan from this trip and I'm gonna put all the details in below. And also, I did all the Botox and fillers and Haifu and all other stuff and also the uh, thread underneath of my skin. I did all the stuff in Japan for the first time. Um, you know, some people, they want to try all the Botox and filler and all other stuff, but you know, people get scared how it's going to be. Like, you know, it's going to it's it look it's gonna look like all fake like even though you got filler on your lips your lips is gonna be like this fake look um but i am really satisfied with my result i still look me and looks natural so i want to share you guys how uh, my experience and uh, i want to show all the procedure how it was and, and also that what is the downtime of course when you got some uh you know uh laser or anything there was a downtime uh so i got some bruises around here or uh my skin uh peeled a little bit and i got a little scab from the uh removing my sunspot so i want to share uh how it was all the healing process and also how much did it cost all of that so I'm gonna share little by little. I have a little small children, so it takes a little slow, but I will share all of that with you guys. 